I think people feel a tremendous affection for LSE. It's a fabulous community in the centre of London. You have a small family compact atmosphere and everyone kind of knows each other, but you're still in a massive city. I came to LSC because it was just one of the top unis for law. Law has always been taught here right from the outset and as a central part of the school's mission to understand how the social world works. The LSE Law degree is a, is a very well respected degree, it um, is a degree which I hope people would find extremely challenging, it's not easy. It's a very big step up from A-level so I hope that students get enthused by their teachers being so um, engaged with their subject. We have a long tradition of over a century of developing pioneering legal scholarship in new areas of law. It's always had a a very, very strong reputation. All of the different things that this school provides it just gives you different ways to be creative. I think the LSE has just got so much going for it. Confidence, I think, was something I got from um, the LSE. It's so high up there with Oxford and Cambridge that what could, you know, how could I really get in? But I guess with confidence and actually applying, I did. We've got a large academic staff. They're a very, very dynamic, enthusiastic um, group of people and I think extremely good teachers. The lecturers we had were superb. One of the benefits for students is that the people that will be teaching them here are actually researching in the area. Because of LSE's uh, reputation, uh, it just provides enormous opportunities for, for research staff who are based here. We are pursuing new media, environment, finance and banking, regulatory studies, internationalisation of governing activities, new developments in policing and so on. Staff are regularly asked to sit on major commissions, inquiries, um, looking into the ways in which laws should be reformed or indeed formulated. And they bring that into the classroom as well and also into your conversations with them. A lot, of the, a lot of current and contemporary things that happen feeds into our essays and our lectures and things like that, so it's definitely connected to the real world in that sense. They're constantly putting your degree into context and into the real world. It's constantly bringing like, your degree to life. That exchange of knowledge between the undergraduates and the graduate students is just invaluable. What does make a difference um, is the close proximity with students um, doing a range of other social science courses. Students are encouraged to look at law from a variety of disciplines and to look at the interface between theory and practice. We run a course called LSE 100 and it's really to expose all of our students to some of the really exciting uh, research that's going on at LSE and some of, I suppose, the stars of, of LSE. The challenge in designing LSE 100 has been to put together a set of topics that introduce students to a wide variety of different ways of thinking like a social scientist. In the first module, we look at climate change. We go from climate change into does culture matter. We then go on to think about why it is we have so much trouble predicting great events. Then the financial crisis, population growth, and then we finish with a module aimed at understanding who owns ideas. And we need to think about whether the current copyright law is well suited to this new environment with file sharing, with social networking. Students here are able to get a really developed sense of how law impacts on the world surrounding them. The study of law without acknowledging that it has an impact on real people's lives would be um, very thin and unsatisfying. We're made to think outside the box and um, introduced to different concepts and different ideas that we may not have thought about um, within our own degrees. Social sciences are really important to not only getting a job and being on your CV but to widen you as a person and to allow you to view different situations and to expand and grow. I think you get a little bit of a head start on seeing what the other options are for what you, how you could use your law degree and how they might affect people in other fields and other areas.
I'm quite heavily involved in a lot of pro bono work and charity work. And on my gap year, um, I set up a charity and I feel like I actually really want to help people on like the fringes of society. I'm also involved in the Pathways to Law scheme. So I have um, three student mentees who go to poor inner city state schools who might not have had the same encouragement to go to university. When you're on the programme, you get to have work experience, so you get the, to see the practical side of law, and you also get to see the academic side of law. So it's a very good way to judge if studying law is for you and if becoming a lawyer is also for you. In the past, uh, the department was scattered in various different parts of LSE and now we're just on the two uh, top floors of the new academic building with beautiful views. When I entered the building I thought, wow, this looks more like an art gallery. The open plan of this building is, is really great. Just no matter what, you always have somebody around and you can always approach them and ask them about the research that you're doing. So it really it promotes this flow of ideas. We tend to meet like in between the different levels and you do end up having a conversation. So I think that happens naturally. It just gives you a sense of a community. There's two computer rooms, there's loads of lecture theatres, everything's really obviously clean, new, it's really efficient, like cafes, there's areas to chill, there's quiet zones. It really promotes just shared thinking and shared learning and I think that's, that's wonderful. A lot of architects will tell you the quality of um, the environment can make a difference to the interactions you have within that environment and I think this is a wonderful building. Coming here would be a great decision to make but I would also say you have to be ready and willing to work very hard. Um, knowing that you're in a very intellectually stimulating place. Um, you will be pushed um, and you'll be made to go outside of what you would consider your boundaries. So although it is a very great place to be, be ready for that challenge. In the LSE, you attend classes, but they place an emphasis on um, the individual and independent thinking. So that can be challenging because you need to be disciplined. Find your passion whether it is commercial awareness, whether it is banking, whether it is pro bono work, find something that makes you want to get up in the morning and get involved in it. Don't think that LSE is just about studying because it's not, there's so many different opportunities to get involved in. I'm the internal faculty representative for Mooting, for instance, which is sort of as close as you can get as a student to be appearing in a courtroom. We came uh, first last year in the London University's Mooting Shield. We came first in the Oxford International Intellectual Property Mooting competition, uh, third in the European Law Student Association WTO Moot. All the students have unequivocally said that um, being a part of that mooting team was key to their success. We're very close to the ends of court, we're very close to the, the sort of financial centre of the city where a lot of um, city law firms are. So it's very easy for our students to make contact um, with the professions. From day one they want to meet us, they want to like, bring us to the offices and show us around. If you mention LSE people are impressed, people do know that you've gone to one of the leading institutions in the world. Confidence. I think was something I got from um, the LSE. So who should I apply to? Well, why not apply to one of the big firms? And why not, having done that, why not seek to be one of the big fish within that, that firm? The LSE is the most cosmopolitan higher education institute in the world. I've made friends from Malaysia, Singapore, um, Australia, like many, many different places. So I think that's one thing that drew me to um, LSE that really provides you with an opportunity to just share your ideas and to get ideas from them that you normally wouldn't have within, uh, I think even within some universities in the US. I've never seen anything like LSE's just sheer range of countries coming together and it really plays out beautifully in the classroom as well. We have so many different perspectives uh, coming together. All my passions and dreams and like stuff that I really care about, I've been able to explore and get involved in LSE. It's a life-changing event, really, university, so I think being in the centre of an exciting city, 
being enthused about your subject, meeting people from all over the world and forming fabulous friendships. They come out much more critical thinkers, much more aware of the importance of their subjects to the world around them. LSE is a place where you can constantly be inspired. It's a great experience, yeah. We are in the heart of London with the top, top, top academics taking the time out to teach you and nurture you and you can go and speak to them in their academic office hours. Like, why would you want to go anywhere else?